What's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. My name's Sydney, if you are new here. And for today's video, we are going to be doing none other than my personal favorite, a Princess Polly haul. I've got some super awesome pieces that I can't wait to share with you. So with that being said, let's get after it. So I know in my last video, I told you guys I was going to be doing a swimmer try on haul for this video, but then I was like, hold up. Wait a minute, is a chopper. I talked about Princess Polly way too much in my first video for it to not be my first haul on this channel. So then I was like, yes, I have a reason to go online and online shop with zero guilt. And I have guilt. I'm sitting here and I have so much guilt because I bought so many pieces of clothing, more than I ever intended to, which is exactly what happens anytime I go on and I online shop and especially on Princess Polly. But it's a great thing for you guys because it means I have a ton of awesome pieces to show you today that I am super excited about. And um, a lot of the pieces of clothing, both top and bottom are from their website just because whenever I online shop, and I always find this to be the case, I love to shop by outfit. And I think for me, it's just easier that way. That and I probably get excited, but like it's definitely more so because um, I don't have to sit there and think about like what I already have in my closet. So that way I know like when the package shows up, I have a full blown outfit ready to go and ready to wear and that I'm going to feel awesome in. So that to me is just what I really like to do. And I also go through these phases that I'm currently in right now, and I'm sure I'm not the only one, but where like I hate everything in my closet, which is absolutely ridiculous because there's too much in there. But I feel like that's why I bought so much today because I bought a ton of clothes because I wanted to replace everything in my closet. But yeah, the first outfit is actually the one that I am wearing, which I'm actually obsessed with. I wasn't sure how the pants were going to work out, but I ended up loving them. And I'm going to take these tags off before I head out the door today and actually wear this because it's amazing. And I'm super comfortable. And there is nothing more that I appreciate in the summer than being cute and comfortable. I hate sitting in awkward jean shorts and just being uncomfortable at the table, sitting down the entire time I'm wearing them. So with that being said, let's jump into these outfits and I hope you guys like them. And as always, I will link them down in the description box. So the first piece is this super awesome high neck army green crop top, which I absolutely love. And I think what I love most about it is the thickness. It's thick enough to where you're not gonna have to wear anything underneath of it if you don't want to and kind of worry about people seeing through it. But then if you also do want to wear like sticky boobs underneath of it, you have enough coverage and it's not see-through to where you're going to see like the indentations here, which I personally can't stand. And I really like the texture of it. It's a ribbed material, but I feel like it has a little bit more character to it than just a normal rib. And it looks a little bit more expensive than the price that I paid for it, which I always appreciate. And you can pair it with a lot of things, but I chose to pair it with these two-toned mom jeans. And I absolutely love these jeans. They're probably my favorite thing I got from this whole haul. And what I love most about them is the fact that they have a really nice fit to them, but they also still cinch in at the waist a little bit. So you're not gonna have that massive gap in the back of your jeans, which I can't stand. They're just still flattering while also not being super tight on you, obviously. Um, and I got these in a size four, and then I got this in a size small. Um, I'm pretty much a size four in all of their bottoms and dresses, and then a size small in all of their tops. So this piece I was really sad about. I absolutely love this dress. As you can see, it has really nice colors for summer. The pattern on it is so cute and summery, and then it has this really nice lace up around the neck. Um, but for me, it was honestly just way too short. And I found on their website, if it says mini dress, it is always usually a mini dress. And I'm 5'6", so I didn't think it would be that big of an issue but I guess maybe my butt just kind of takes up a little bit more material. But overall, this dress was gorgeous and such a nice fit. It's bodycon, but it's not super tight. And then again, it has that ruched um, up in the chest area, which I think on my body type personally is just really flattering and I really like it. So if you're under 5'6", I highly recommend it. But if you're over, it's just not gonna work for you because I'm not kidding when I say like I turned around and the bottoms of my butt sheets were hanging out, which obviously isn't acceptable. But yeah, super cute piece, but sadly just didn't work out for me. 
So this piece was super simple. It's just a camel colored singlet. But what is different about this one versus the one that I have on, they're not the same top, by the way, they have a different cut up here. This is definitely more of like a scoop neck. Um, but it comes down a little bit further. So it's not like a full crop. Like as you could see, it could definitely go inside of my sweatpants there. So if you don't feel like showing off a little bit of stomach, this was super great, but it's also not long where it's going to be a tank top that you kind of have to like shove down into your jeans kind of far and it tends to roll up a little bit. Um, but yeah, again, the thickness on this was awesome. Not see-through, but also not thick to where you're going to sweat. So yeah, super simple piece. And that last top with this pair of jean shorts, just a plain black pair of jean shorts. Again, also looking for a pair of these because as I mentioned, I have a really hard time with jean shorts. Um, and I got these in a size 26, which translates to a four or usually a small. And I really wanted to like them. I really did. And honestly, they're not that bad. Like if I wanted to keep them, I definitely could. But for me, they're high-waisted. But for me, I kind of felt like the crotch was a little bit too high and it kind of like, you know, it was uncomfortable. Um, and so, yeah, the high waist was really nice on them. I didn't feel super tight and constricted and there also wasn't a big gap in the back, which I really appreciate um, because I feel like with high waisted, that's really hard to get. Either it's super tight or there's usually a massive gap in the back. And I have a little bit of like thicker thighs and waist area. And so for me, sometimes with high waist, it's really hard to find a pair of shorts that fit my waist, but then also fit in my legs and butt area, just because I am a little smaller here and then a little thicker down there. Um, but yeah, these honestly are great shorts. I would just definitely recommend maybe going a size up in them if you're interested in them. But I liked how they didn't have a ton of rips in them, but they still have some character at the bottom. Um, just because I feel like, I don't know, I don't really love ripped jean shorts it's just not really my type of vibe so then this piece i threw on over um that singlet i just talked about in the jean shorts but this is a really pretty plaid and houndstooth if you can see up close oversized button up and i love these types of things for summer because if you wear an outfit like that but then all of a sudden it gets a little chilly outside like in the evening i think having something like this to throw on over top of it is so cute but i will admit i got a size four in this and it definitely fits oversized like i kind of get a little bit swallowed up in it so if you are interested in it i would definitely recommend sizing down and it's not going to hug you it's still going to be very oversized but i was kind of swimming in it um i kind of wish i got a smaller size but i'm gonna work with it because it's super cute and i wore it out to dinner with my friends the other night with just like a slinky dress and then i kind of tied this around my waist with some sneakers to uh, make the dress a little bit more casual but yeah this is super cute i love the colors and it's lightweight and just overall pretty perfect for summer the next piece i got was another summer overlay and this jacket is a really pretty beige corduroy and denim um again i really wanted to like this jacket but for me it was really boxy in the shoulders and just kind of gave me an overall box shape to me it is sort of cropped like it's gonna hit you right there at your jean line. It's not gonna be above it or below it. Um, but yeah, it is really pretty and I got it in a small medium. So maybe I just needed to size down in it and it wouldn't have been as oversized or as boxy on me. But yeah, in general, it's really nice material and quality. I was actually very impressed with this because sometimes denim, I hate when it's really stiff and this one looks like this one definitely like moves with you, which is nice. The next thing I got was just a plain pair of black jeans because I'm currently in the market for a pair of those. Also a size four, but I will say with this type of jean, which these are the Second City jeans, if you do um, decide to go snag a pair for yourself, I will say to probably size up in them. Um, I have a small waist, but kind of a little bit more of um, a bigger backside, if you know what I'm saying. And with these, they had a really nice fit throughout the legs, but then like up here, it was just super tight. Like I could zip them and button them, but I definitely couldn't sit down. So like in the waist, I could have gone a little bit bigger. The legs were fine. So, I mean, I assume if I go up a size, it's not going to be a drastic difference um, in the legs. But yeah, for the waist part in particular, there was definitely no way I was going to sit down. It just felt super tight, stretched and restricted. Um, and they're 100% cotton, so they're just going to shrink. Um, and they didn't seem like they were going to have a lot of give to them and kind of stretch over time like some jeans do. So the next item is this black bodysuit. 
and I honestly thought that I would love this a little bit more than I did because normally I have a smaller chest and so I really like tops like these where it kind of ruches and accentuates around um, your breast area just because with girls like me who have smaller boobs it kind of accentuates them a little bit more um, but I kind of felt like and maybe it was just me but I kind of felt like they kind of like went out to the sides and it just didn't look as nice as I thought it was going to um, but I got this in a size 4 so I guess if it gives you the option for like numbers or letters I'm a size 4 in tops too or a small like I said um, but yeah other than that it still had a really nice fit like it didn't ride up in the crotch which I can't stand with bodysuits um, and the material is super nice and slinky um, which is really nice but I was hoping to like this a little bit more than I did I won't lie the next piece I have kind of speaks for itself but it's just this cropped graphic tee with a Rolling Stones logo on it. And as I've said in the past, I love a good graphic tee. And I like that this one's cropped. All of my graphic tees are really oversized. This is my first cropped one. But the material is so soft, which I absolutely love about it. And with the um, print on the front, it like it bends and it gives. It's not stiff and it's not going to hang there like in a circle on your chest. But yeah, I love this top and I can't wait to throw it on with just like some bike shorts and run out of the house. So this next piece was absolutely gorgeous, but insanely see-through. So I personally would probably throw something on underneath of it. You don't have to, obviously. Um, but other than that, it is a gorgeous top. I love the way that it fit my body and how it kind of hung underneath of my chest area. It just kind of scooped it and really accentuated it. And the color was gorgeous. I love this pastel green color. Um, and yeah, it is a really nice top. It's not something personally I would normally grab and go for, but I've been seeing a lot of people on social media wear tops very similar to these or those sweaters where you leave it unbuttoned at the top and then at the bottom. I just really like the way it looks. I think it's gorgeous and it is kind of like sexy, but it's also elegant at the same time. So I think it's really cool. So this last piece I couldn't even include or put up here on the screen at all because it was way too revealing, but it is one of these blazer dresses. And for me, it's just super hard to believe that anyone wears this as a dress with anything underneath of it because as soon as I walked, you could see absolutely everything and it was way too short. And the other problem I had with it was this belt on it had no buckle. So as soon as I put, um, the other side of the waistband through it it didn't stay so it didn't keep my waist like cinched at all it just started like slowly becoming undone um which obviously i didn't love that it does have like buttons on it as you can see right there too but that doesn't really hold it together either it's still kind of an oversized look you could definitely wear this with like a pair of biker shorts and then it would be acceptable and it would be fine but you couldn't just wear it on its own and even then just the buckle, I don't know. You'd have to put a completely different belt on with it to cinch it, which is totally fine. Um, but yeah, I just don't really understand how people wear these as dresses because for me, there's just no way possible. 